previously. But in the end, everybody came back empty handed. Uh oh. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. You may notice I have a tail in my face, and that is because I have my rat bandit with me. What is he doing, bandit? Who is currently in my hood. There we go. Hey, do you want to say hi? Hi. Say hello. She's not exactly, like, up for the whole, like, being out of her cage thing. I'm trying to get her more social, but it doesn't really seem to work very well, so. She's kind of just here, chilling with me. So, you may or may not see her pop out. In the meantime, though, we're going to play. So, uh, yeah. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, Reinhold Banner. Um, I saved as soon as I uh, quit the other one. So, we're going to go... And see, first see if we can find coins. Coins? It's the tickles. Hey, I found a coin. Alright, so let's go upstairs. It's okay. It's okay. Professor Layton once again. <coughs> it's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh no, the pleasure's all mine. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, come back, sweetie! You lost the cat. Good job. Honestly, why am I consistently surrounded by incompetence? This is a disaster. Whatever is the matter? Well, this is simply terrible. My dear sweet baby, my Claudia. Your Claudia? Sweet, sweet Claudia, my little honeykin, my smoochy pie, my baby, Matthew, Matthew! Is there any hit coins in here? Oh, there's a chandelier apparently that's got a puzzle. Look, there's a puzzle hidden here, Professor. Oh, the vanishing cube. On the table below are four cubes made up of matches. Can you change four cubes to three by moving a single match? Um, yes, but I don't remember how. Hmm, first puzzle and I'm already just like... Mm. Alright, give me a hint. I, that's what I assume you want me to do, but like, I'm not sure how. Ah, yep, here, I need to move this one. Don't know where. I need to move it. Does this work? Oh wait, 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 wait. There we go. <clears> hmm. <throat> Got it. Good job. Moving a single match ship completely changes your perspective on a shape. Was it difficult thinking about things in 3D? Yeah, kind of. Piece of cake. Now let's go find more puzzles. Cool. I was actually just looking for hit coins, but I'm cool with this too. 
Madam, what is it? What in the world happened? My little Claudia got scared and ran off. Didn't you see her dart out of the room? I, I must have missed her. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, you're just useless, aren't you? Professor, you didn't see which way my baby ran off to, did you? Your baby, madam? If you're referring to that white cat, I saw it right out the door a moment ago. What? And he simply stood there and let her escape? Well, she is a cat. They're animals, after all. Animals must run about from time to... You fool. She is not just a cat. She has a name, and that is Claudia Reinhold. She's a delicate flower, and she is simply a mess when I'm not close by to comfort her. Matthew, I need you to find Claudia and bring her back immediately. Uh, about this little inheritance problems of yours, Lady Dahlia. That can wait. Can't you see we have more pressing concern on our hands at the moment? You could have stopped her, and you didn't. So you have a responsibility to find Claudia and bring her back. I'm sending the professor off to find a silly cat. The nerve. Who do you think you are? <laughs> it's fine, Luke. Besides, Lady Dahlia does have a point. It does seem we let Claudia run off. And if you'll excuse us, we have a cat to track down. Thank you, and please hurry. My Claudia is such a delicate flower, even the coarse outdoor air might prove too much for her. What? Chapter 2, The Fugitive Feline. Lady Dahlia's cat has escaped. Search state mystery for the runaway feline. Yeah, I'll save. Thank you. Save complete. Do you have a puzzle for me? Dahlia sure is fond of that cat. I assume that you're that famous Professor Late Night. My name is Gordon. I'm one of the people who originally requested your service. I'd like to explain our situation further, but right now it's probably best to do as Lady Dahlia says. Who are you? My name is Simon. I'm Baron Reinhold's nephew. My father is the little brother of Gordon there. Or rather, he was until he kicked the bucket, as they say. But I digress. Say the famous Professor Layton. I thought you'd have more presents. Well, never mind that. I take it you won't mind if I throw a puzzle your way. It shouldn't prove difficult for a man of your ability. Yes, if you're as good as they say, this shouldn't amount to much more than a distraction. Parking line. As shown in the diagram below, you have one fourth of a circle. Within the circle is the rectangle ABC, which touches the edges of the circle at point D. Assuming that point B is located at the center of the circle, how long is the diagonal line AC? Um, you want me to do math? Um, I don't know. Is it like nine inches? So it's not 10. I'm going to answer 9 inches. It might be like 8, but whatever. There we go. I didn't like that. I suppose I have thought long. It's not 10 because it's not all the way to the end. Is it 10? I'll try 10. There we go. What? 
That doesn't make sense. Another puzzle solved. And I guess that would be the exact same length regardless. Because it's a circle. Uh, yeah, it makes my brain hurt. Oh, ho, so it appears you're the real deal, Professor. I apologize for doubting you there. It seems you've quite the mind for puzzles. But, oh, ho, ho, how unfortunate that you must waste your time on one of these ridiculous cat chases. They happen all the time, yet every time the cat slips out, Lady Dahlia calls it the biggest fuss. Don't even bother trying to talk to them. The best thing you can do is just go and find the cat. Bandit, what are you doing? If you're as bright as they say, you should have no trouble tracking down one little cat, right? I guess. What are you still doing here? My precious Claudia is out there alone. Go find her and bring her back at once. Alright, I'm leaving. Any ideas? I'm terribly sorry, Professor. I'll personally search the manor and the estate grounds. I feel dreadful asking, but would you mind taking a quick look about the town and see if Claudia is there? Don't give it a second thought, my good man. We're on the case. I mean, that's obviously a staircase, right? Whatever. Well, hello. What are you doing here? <coughs> Professor, there she is. <coughs> Drat, she ran off. We can't stop now. Let's give chase, Luke. Um. <coughs> Blast that burns. It looks like the engine blew out. So this is St. Mystery, eh? The famed stopping ground of the late Baron Augustus Reinhold. Wonder kind of what kind of tricks the old coot sat up in this village before he shuffled off. Oh, Layton, you ridiculous dandy. Just you wait. All the treasures you seek will be mine. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hey, have you seen the cat? What are you doing? Oh, it's you, Mr... Please, call me Raymond. Ahem. May I... Can I be of some assistance? As a matter of fact, yes, Raymond. Lady Dahlia's cat slipped out of the house. Have you seen her about? Do you mean dear Claudia? I think I saw her pass through here when it's... <sighs> a few moments ago. If that's the case, I sure wish you'd bother to catch her before you ran away. Wait. Has he got another... quiz for me, possibly? Okay, worth the shot. Hey, have you seen the cat? You need something? You do, don't you? Yeah, if I could see it on her face, an open book is what you are. Excuse me, but you didn't happen to see Lady Dahlia's cat come through here a moment ago, did you? Ah, uh, the fluffy white killer, yeah? I think she ran toward the town square. Yep, she went that away. I see, thank you. Think nothing of it, buddy. If only all the questions were that easy to answer. Well then, I'll be off now. You'd have thought he turned out to be such a nice guy. Shall we head for Town Square then? Indeed. Let's be off. Hold on. Let's take a look at what's behind the blue door. Do you see it? That blue door over there happens to be open a crack. Would you care to take a look inside? Found a hint coin. Everything in here is caked in dust. Look here, my boy, this extinguished candle is reminding me of a simply wonderful puzzle. Has it? How many are left? Thin candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows in through an open window and extinguishes two of them. Checking back in the candles later, you see that one more candle has gone out. To make sure no more candle flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the window doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? Zero. They'll all burn out eventually. I mean, you still have the candles. You can light them. So. I can burn bodies. No? I've let you down. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. If uh, the candles are extinguished... I'm a dumbass. Hold on. Uh, two... Three. I only have three left because the others burn out. I can burn bodies. I did it. Yes. Correct. 
That seven candles that managed to stay lit will melt all completely. The only candles that remain at the end are the three that are extinguished by the wind and therefore stay intact. Yep. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious, too. Develop delving too deep into the implied can cause misconceptions. Yay. Appears that no one's working here. Oh. There is something I find very charming about this chair. That reminds me, look, have you heard this one before? Which chair? Dirty pick, pick our ass. A new multi-purpose event hall has been built in the center of your town. It will be used for everything from concerts to sporting events to conventions. With the hall complete, it's time to order the chairs. Five chair designs labeled A through E are being considered. But of all the designs, only one chair is completely suitable for the auditorium. Which chair is it? Uh, I'm gonna assume it's the one we actually use. Well, here's my guess. Cause it could be stacked. Like in s when best. you're in school. Yep. Uh, each event requires a different number of seats. Yeah. Well done. I suppose the puzzle was too easy for you, my boy. Hey, I got a painting scrap. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess there's nobody in here. All right, back this way I go. Oh, hey, you two, help me out here, would you? I'm in a real pickle. What seems to be the problem, sir? Some knucklehead went and raised the bridge while I was on break. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, the chowderhead made off with my only bridge crank. Oh, dear, so you mean to say... Mm, you got it, buddy. Until that thing shows up, no one is getting in or out of town. I'm still looking for the plastic crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything done. What kind of punk pulls a prank like this anyhow? Oh, yeah. I found this dude out in the street while I was looking for my crank. Got any idea what it is? Strange gizmo. Gizmo's option has been added to the menu. Touch the trunk to open it and tap the gizmo's icon. From here, try to assemble the various mechanical parts you've gathered around town. Cool. I'll talk about the cat in a second. Hold on. Still looking for the plastic crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything else done. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, hello, cat. Ah, fluffy, check. Purple bow, check. Solon expression, check. No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Good eye, Luke. Now that we've located her, the question is at hand is how to get about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Ah, yes, I've forgotten that you have a way with animals. We'll go right ahead, then. Here, Claudia. Here, girl. Uh-oh. Hi! Luke, are you alright? I'm sorry, I wasn't much help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. I'll worry about you with the big face in a second. There's a lot of interesting things in here. Is this the way back out? Yeah. I would like more hint coins, please. This is a town hall. What business do you have here? If you've just moved to town, I strongly advise that you fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all town hall visitors must complete proper forms. You can start with this one. That's not a form. Here are two shapes. One large, one small. Each one is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles depicted by the shape to the left. So with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw all the shapes on the right if that's made up of 360 triangles? Or 36 triangles. Uh, one. Hold on. One. Uh. Three, four, 
six. There we go. What? Do you not like six? All right, let's try again. Oh, I have to draw the fudge. <sighs> Crap, okay. Uh, well, 36 divided by four is eight. No, it's nine. Let's try nine. If it doesn't work, then I guess I'll just do math. No, nope, that still doesn't work. All right. That's what I thought. Uh, da -da -da -da. So one. Um, I need to clear this. So in actuality, I need only need to draw three. Or no, ah, my brain. I'm going to sit here and do the damn math. So that's one. Two. My brain. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, Six I already did six. Maybe it's five and I just messed up. There we go. I don't understand how I did that wrong. Oh. Come on. How embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this differently. Alright. So we got 
shush. One, two, three, four. It's one. And we got one, two, three, four. That's two. One. Two, three, four, that's three, one, two, three, four, that's four, one, two, three, four, but that makes five, uh, let's try five, four, still think I'm just doing things wrong, whoops, that should do it. I can't put four and a half, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Can't divide twenty one by four. So if I draw one, two. Draw that first and then fill in the little ones. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's four triangles. Two, three, one, two, three. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three. Right? Oh, hello, where are you going? Oh, you're gonna hang yourself, careful. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put her up. <laughs> she seems to be rowdy. So I think I figured out what my problem is. There's enough ink to make four triangles. But that's because it's not really four triangles. You're only making three triangles around a fourth triangle. So if I separate it like this, this is one dip. This is two, this is three, this is four, five, and six. Makes sense, right? Why isn't six the answer? But it doesn't seem to like that. Uh, I don't really get why. I suppose I have thought long. Okay. 
Control 7. I don't make sure. Critical thinking is the key to success. Mm. And think about the type of border ones you're gonna have to have stuff inside. So it would have been the six that I thought to begin with. And then I would have had to draw them in the middle of all of the down facing ones, which might have ended up being seven. I'm dumb. Mm. Nicely done. As you may have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. I strongly advise that you solve as many as you can. Oh, and while I'm at it, I strongly advise that you drop in on Colonel Reddy's Reddy Riddle to the next door. It's a variable treasure trove of puzzle related informa informalia. Just be aware she's not always home. Cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Professor, have you noticed that this door is a different color than all the other doors in the area? And look at these vines. Have you seen vines going on any other house in the Sweet Mystery? The nameplate on the door says House of Puzzles. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what else lies behind the door, but it's clear that there are puzzles hiding inside. Sadly, the door is shut tight and there's no sense of waiting around for it to open. Let's return later. Okay. Who are you? Yawn. <sighs> hmm? Yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched her eye out. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. You see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Do at least tell us in which direction she ran off. I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. You have a puzzle for me? Well, fine. Are you still mad about the gate? Alright. Well, I guess I'm going that way, but I kind of want to go this way and see if anybody's over here. Well, you're an interesting fellow. Hello. Yeah, hello there. Welcome to the Inn and State Mystery. We're the only Inn in town now. As you see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Good day, madam. We seek lodgings tonight. Do you have any open rooms we can rent? Where are my stars? What terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. The only rooms that are left are the attic, if you don't mind that, but I'll make sure you're very comfortable. I hope you stay with us. It's been a while since the five gentlemen such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are not very big, but I'll make sure they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? And I'll do my best to get two more room normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, but you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Oh, yes, about that. Oh, what's terrible? I can see all the beds are being refinished. Don't worry, Madame Beatrice is going to take good care of you, too. I'll even drop the nightly rate. The inn option has been added to the trunk. The inn is a puzzle in which you, you arrange items in Luke and Professor's room. If you access it, touch the trunk icon and touch the inn icon. When you obtain a new item for Luke and the Professor, you'll be asked where you want to put it. You can always rearrange your items, so don't worry too much about where you put the first item. If your rooms are too full to take on new items, the item will go to the room with the available space. You just have to make the place feel a bit more like home. Lacquered stool. Do you have a puzzle for me, ma'am? Oh, hello there. I've got a doozy of a puzzle in my hands. Why don't you give it a go? Hmm. A dust and dustpan. As you can see, what we've got here is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Can you move them two matchsticks to change the pictures so the dustpan is holding the trash? That's correct. Do your part of creep shape, Mr. Queen. Oh yes, it's just as I suspected. The first time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were a man who made puzzles. 
It doesn't really matter. Is there a coin? Yay, I found a coin. Oh, there's a puzzle up here too. Look, a hidden puzzle. <coughs> My beloved. Oh god. Work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years and is titled My Beloved. So when the artist wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself, his beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. Can we find his beloved? I think I know where this is going. Not sure exactly how to do it. I assume that has something to do with the gray space. There we go. Perfect. You were gone for so long. Aww. Hmm. Easy peasy. Let's go find some more puzzles. Indeed. No more hidden stuff? No? Hey. Point in the cushion. Awesome. Better get back to searching for Claudia. <laughs> so how it goes, things. Learning the ins and outs of St. Mysterio. Keep solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value most. So how about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourself in front of others later. A diehard nonconformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle I need to find on that out. Maybe the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can we find the odd one out? What is a footmark? Mm. It's good. It's just one. Thank you. Okay, dog, please stop. Yo. Yep. I forgot to show you guys why, I'm sorry. The uh, card that was the clover on all of the others um, 
the way that the spade was facing the uh, top right of the spade. If the spade is facing this way, this is the point of the spade. The card on the top right this way was under the card on three of them, and one of them, it was over the card, and it was the opposite with the bottom left. <coughs> okay. Well, hey, another coin. Let's go back this way and see if there's more people. Oh, the drawbridge is back up. That bridge appears to be the only way out of St. Mystery. It seems that we're confined to this town for the moment. Oh my. And to make matters worse, it seems no one can find the crank to lower the bridge. Well then, my boy, all we can do is wait. Let's attend to our business in the village. <coughs> Not even the Leighton Mobile can make it across the river, huh? But of course, much as I adore the contraption, it is just a car after all. Look, our little exchange just reminded me of a wonderful puzzle about cars. Why don't you give it a try? Late and mobile, the professor's pride and joy stuck behind several other cars trying to exit a crowded parking lot. Things are tight, though. Are so tight, though, that each car can only move forward or backward with respect to the direction it's currently facing. The user stylus to direct traffic to guide the professor's red car to the exit. Is that playing rush hour? Okay. Yep, got it. Yep, got it. Um, I haven't played Rush Hour in a really long time. Give me a second. Hmm. Nope, I meant to move this and this. Okay. <clears throat> How does this go? 
I wonder how many tries it's normally supposed to take. <sighs> uh, 14 moves. Fuck you. All that takes care of the puzzle, but I wonder if I'll, when I'll be able to get back to my automobile. I found another strange gizmo. Hey, another coin. Hmm. He's gonna talk about the automobile again. And you guys are gonna talk about not being able to get out of the city again? Yep. Okay. I guess let's go get Claudia then. Can't do anything else. Is this another? Yep. Can't complain. Alright. Back to... Wait. Yeah. I knew there was a hint coin here somewhere. Oh, what are you guys yelling about? Eh. Hey. Okay. I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Oh, yes, it ran over that way toward the park. May I ask, what are you planning on doing with it once you find it? You're going to take it back to Lady Delia. It's her cat, and she's asked us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're going to try and catch that cat barehanded. Oh, good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here. Cats love treats. Try and lowering it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that would... I'm sure the little thing would go wild over. I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. Puzzle time. Several prize-winning pigs are lazing about in a pen. To make sure the pigs don't fight with each other, you decided to section off the pen with three ropes. Can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbor? Remember, not even a snout or a curly tail can sneak over each partition. Drag the side list from one point. When you're finished sectioning it off, tap submit. So, obviously this one's first. That's pretty easy. I can do... Oh, not that. We only got three ropes. Need this one to move and be here instead. No, here. <clears throat> Poor little pig. Good job, you've made a lot of pigs very happy. Uh, must say I'm impressed. Here you go, loot some fish bones as promised. Good luck with the cat. Woo! What are you over here laughing about? <coughs> <laughs> that guy gets so worked up when he turns around like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Girl? Yeah. <coughs> what are you doing? Oh, I just have... I Oh, I have just had it this time. I think I'm going to explode. Like a water balloon filled with rage. What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Lend me an ear, will you, guy? There are just these three bozos in town, and we just cannot stand each other. So bad that none of us want to see each other's ugly mugs. But same mystery ain't a big place, right? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work, and just like that, bam, time for a screeching match. I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping into each other in the mornings. Hang on now. You look like you got a good head on your shoulders. Do you... Do a guy a favor and help me with this. And friendly neighbors. Oh, Lord. Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting matching blocks. The catch is these men can't stand each other, so you have to make sure that none of their paths touch. To make a path, all you need to do is tap a block and start drawing.
Give me a hint. Mm, connect any pair of blocks. So I'll limit what your next pack to vote. These route is shortest train of time, so you're sure to figure it out. What? No. No. Okay. And then I can do this, and then I can go around this way. Hello. There we go. Just needed a couple more times. <clears throat> okay, correct. Every puzzle has an answer. Good job. That's right. Now these guys don't even have to look at each other. Good job. We have to look at each other's house. Aw, oh, thanks a million, guy. I can finally get to work without blowing my stack. I really mean it, Pally. You're a lot smarter than you look. Oh, yeah. Let me clear you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, stay away from that thing. Well, right then. I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. Cool. Hmm. Are we, are we done with you? Oh, this time I'm just livid. It's just too much to take. The needle on my wrath made is completely buried. Why am I so worked up, you ask? It's just this last puzzle I've been trying to work out since yesterday. I just can't get it. It has me so steamed I can't sleep. You stupid jerk of a puzzle. Come here and take a look, will you? You are a very angry man. A man has been prescribed 10 pills. Starting today, he must take one pill daily, but because the concentration in the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man decided to write a number on each pill to help remember what order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he need to number if he wants to keep track of the order? Um, eight. Takes one today and one the last day. Because if it's the last one, it doesn't need to have a number on it. You know that it's the last one. Good job. Since the man has to start taking his medicine today, the first thing he should do is take today's pill. Next, he should label the pills for days two through nine. If he does this, he shouldn't have to label the pill for the last day. It'll only be one without a label. It'll be the only one without a label. He only needs to label eight pills. What were you thinking, man? And here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? The nerve. But with that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again. I guess I could owe you guys one. Thanks. I know you both have your work cut out for you, so good luck, yeah? Cool, they gave me another gizmo. Do you have another puzzle? So just what is that golden apple anyway? The name can make a guy hungry, which can make a guy mad. Just get angry about everything. You still don't have anything for me? I guess I'll go in here. Hey. Always look for hand coins. I use a lot of them. Hello, sir. <clears throat> so I hear you two are into puzzles. I can tell. It's obvious from the way you're ogling these coins. You can spell it, can't you? You're right. There's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Puzzle in the coins? Puzzles worth 25 picker apps. In the drawing below, 10 coins are arranged to form an equilateral triangle. The triangle pointing up right now, but it can get... Can you get it to point down by moving three of the coins? Yeah. When you're satisfied with their position, tap the cement coin icon. Okay. Just three. Oh, wait. No, that's wrong, too. Move this one. I'm trying to remember how to do this.
I have done this puzzle before, and my brain just will not comprehend it. There we go. Christ, I'm just like, I've done this. I know I have. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yep, <coughs> whatever. Yep, it's just as I thought. You guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. More strange good nuts. Fate Mystery is full of puzzle lovers like you two, but not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. I suddenly trust you considerably less. Sorry, I don't have a puzzle for you now. I have one for you the next time we bump into each other. You have a puzzle? Hey, this is your first time here, isn't it? Well, if you're looking for a warm meal and a hot cup of tea, you've come to the right place. Strange you should be so empty if food's as good as you say. Hey now, boy, no need to be snippy. That's just how the rest of isn't it? The times when the place is packed and the times when things are quiet. If it's always the lunch, it, if it was always a lunch rush, how would I ever prepare food for the rest of the day? Or speaking of preparation, I got myself a little problem on my hands. You see, I've got to divide this eight quart pitcher of juice into two equal portions. However, for the life of me, I can't seem to find my measuring cup. I wonder if there's some way I could use it using these five, three, and three quart pitchers I found. Uh huh. Why? I hate these puzzles. Yep, okay. Pour into here. And then pour that into here. Pour this into here. No, that just makes three and five again. That's okay, because I'm going to pour this into here. Now I have... Three and seven. Hold on, if you keep at it long enough, you should have come across a solution. The shortest possible solution requires seven moves. I have no idea how many moves I took. So that's how it's done. Great thinking. Thanks a lot. If I ever had troubles like this again, would you mind if I call on you for help? At some point in time, that's going to come in handy when I'm in the kitchen. And I'm just like, shit, how do I put this into four quarts? Do you have more stuff for me to do? Okay, bye. Water. Okay. I guess I'm going this way. There's Claudia. But I want these puzzles first. I felt the jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. As it now? Bottle full of germs. Ugh. <clears throat> Glass jaw jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. After one minute after this, two germs split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill a whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if we started with two germs? Thirty minutes? No. This isn't working.
Was it 59 minutes? Did I do all that for nothing? Because it cuts off a minute because I'm starting with two germs. That's it. Because once the jar is full, it can't fill anymore. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, only saves you one minute. It's spot on. Excellent job. Jar is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? Oh, my boy, it's covered in grime. Oh, the stuff is hidden inside the jar. I think you're right. So put your hand and see and what's inside, will you? Painting scrap. Cool. I did all that for nothing. Hey, I got a coin from... I don't even know. Alright, cat. Let's do this. <laughs> Professor, there she is. Quickly, then. Use the fish bones. Here, Claudia. Come here, girl. Meow. Meow. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Banner. Meow. Chapter 2. The Fugitive Feline Lady Dahlia's Cats Escaped. I chap solved the chapter. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton, and Luke decide to head back to Rainhold Manor. Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around investigating St. Mystery? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Send puzzles to disappear from the location as the story progresses. But there's no need to worry. Most of the, of the unsolved puzzles were sent to Granny Riddlestone Shack in uh, the village. Visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work towards completing every puzzle in the game. Sounds great. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. P Professor, oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. W what's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we brought her back safe and sound. Oh, well, madam, we'd be very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. J just hurry upstairs. Right this way, please. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then. The name's Chelmy, Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I'd hardly call it a case since it's about Claudia. We brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby, my mama missed you so. Meow. What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal to a crime scene? Have some sense. We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? It's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address, one Simon Reinhold. Simon was... Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that the man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see. And the cause of death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton. I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. Though the rest of the details concerning the investigation are classified. Speaking of details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are you ears clogged? You deaf. Didn't I just tell you those details were classified, hmm? All right, everyone, I'll be taking statements from each one of you in the other room. Come in, one by one. Let's make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Well, of course. All right, I'm going to end this episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make from your night setting out. Bye.